Arts. Now, it's hoped that in about a year's time, there'll be a brand new statue in Newant Town Centre of the legendary Olympic gold medal winning horse, Vallegro. He has so many medals to his name, winning two golds at London 2012, another gold and silver at Rio 2016. He and Charlotte Dujardin marked his retirement from international competition at the London Horse Show in 2016. And now there's a project underway to raise the money and get the designs absolutely right for a statue in the centre of Newant. Let's find out how it's all going how the fundraising is going. Jemima Parry-Jones is on the committee. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the studio. You've got some wonderful photos with you here because... A lot of work has been going on behind the scenes to make this happen. Yep. Yeah, I've changed my job from birds of prey to horses at the moment. And the plan is that we have had a maquette made. Now, I didn't know what the devil a maquette was. Well, yeah, we should make that absolutely <laughs> clear, shouldn't we? What is a maquette? A maquette is a bronze statue, um, much smaller than the, the statue that's going into Newant. It stands about probably about 12 to 15 inches high of what the statue will look like. So uh, we have a wonderful artist called Georgie Welsh who is has been working very hard on making this model, this maquette. Um, it was completed in plasticine. I know, can you believe it? Plasticine. And you've got to be so accurate when working in plasticine. I know. Yeah. It's not anything like the plasticine you and I, well, I used to have oh, it's when not I like was no. 100 years old. <laughs> Higher uh, quality plasticine. <laughs> Well, it's yeah, it certainly is, and it's finished. It was finished, and I've got a lovely photo here of the the maquette with Vallegro, who looks as if he might eat it. Actually, that's wonderful, isn't it? We'll we'll share some of these photos on social media. Yeah. So there is a picture of Vallegro having a good look at this very tiny maquette. Actually, actually, as you say, it looks about twelve inches. It's on a plinth, and it's like Vallegro's first look at what it might look like. In the well, yes, of I think he was quite proud of it, and, sure and it's had the all clear from both Carl and Charlotte. So now it has gone off to the foundry and then they do terrifying things to it like cut its tail off and they make uh, a rather disgusting looking pink mold <laughs> okay. which they then put wax into i hope i'm getting this right because i'm really guessing here um, i haven't been able to go up to the foundry and then uh, georgie goes up and she gets the green wax um one and she goes all the way through it making sure it's absolutely perfect and then it gets cast in bronze and the whole thing takes about 10 weeks from start to finish so you're working on the maquettes at the moment this is before you get to the act statue that that's next year isn't it but the maquettes the idea of them is to use them to raise money how much money are you hoping to raise for yes well the whole thing is going to cost around thirty eight thousand, and that is literally to get him in place probably to get a couple of cctv cameras to make sure that he's very safe um, and hopefully to have a really wonderful launch as well and so the statues the first one was the most expensive and we really didn't make anything on that one that covers all the artists work but we we have, believe it or not, and it's not even finished, we've, we've already sold three. Sold three. Now, this is £6,000 each. Mm -hmm. And people have come forward and saying, yep, yeah, I'm going to commit. I want to buy one of these. Well, there's only 12. So, you know, this is 12 bronze statues that you can have in your house of probably the most famous dressage horse in the whole world. Um, and I only wish I had £6,000 to buy one as well. Quite, yes. I don't. I can't help you with that, I'm afraid. No, but maybe no. someone else will. So there's only going to be 12. And you're hoping more people, I'm sure they will, come forward and help towards raising money for, for the statue to go in the centre of Newant. Where will it go? Where will it be? Right, well, the statue itself is going next to the market house. And if you ever go through Newant, next to the market house at the moment, there's one of those metal seats that go round a tree. And unfortunately, the tree has died. Uh, and they don't do very well in places where there's lots of pavements anyway. So that will be moved and the statue will go there. And what is very special, and the artist has been wonderful and said... The last maquette, which is number 12, which is actually being made now, is going to be available for anybody because we're going to raffle it. And you're going to raffle it not at £6,000. No. £10 a time. Yep. So this is very special because, you know, I'm listening, thinking, well, I'm sorry, I don't have £6,000 to... If, if won the jackpot in the Euro Millions this week, maybe. But uh, <laughs> I don't right now have 6000 But for the last maquette, and there's only 12, there will only be 12 in the world, yep. uh, people can get in touch with you and buy... £10 tickets. Yep. All they lucky. Have, literally. And I've got a picture of the ticket here. It's got a picture of, of Legro oh, on yeah. there. Yep. And on the back of the ticket, it tells you where to go. And it's, uh, where are we? Uh, Newant Vallegro statue. If you just Google it, Google's a wonderful thing. He'll sort it out for you. I mean, Mr Google's not that important. <laughs>
Uh, brilliant. So you've got 12 maquettes um, and £6,000 of time for the first 11, but then other people have got a chance to come forward, yep. pay £10, and you've got a chance to get one of those maquettes. Yep. We've heard where the statue's going to be, right in the centre of, of Newit Town Centre. We'll talk a bit about Vallegro in the next part, I think. Should we do idea. that? Well, we'll, we'll have some travel news in, in a moment, but I think we need to just get a little update on how Vallegro is. Uh, now he's in retirement. It's uh, Jemima Parry-Jones joining us in the studio on BBC Radio Gloucestershire today. Uh, on the committee to, to make the statue happen, make it uh, appear, hopefully, all the fundraising first, and then it'll be there in Newent Town Centre next year. Time. Uh, Jemima's here because she's part of the committee uh, which is putting together this uh, brilliant statue which will be there in about a year's time in Newton Town Centre. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of fundraising to get to this stage. The little maquettes, the little mini statues, they're being sold off, aren't they, to raise money for this project. And I know Carl Hester and Charlotte Dujardin, they've, they've had a, a real part to play in the design and they have signed it off and said, nope, that's the design we're happy with now. Oh, yes, absolutely. Carl chose the artist and we had six wonderful artists and it was horrible to be able to say to five, I'm so sorry, someone else has been chosen. Um, and Carl and Charlotte have seen it all the way through. We had the drawings sold off. The first six drawings signed by Carl and Charlotte and Alan, the groom, uh, have been sold and are going to America. We have two left if anybody wants an original drawing. So just have a look at the website or go on Facebook. And now we are working on the maquette. So hopefully all will go well and we'll have more than enough money to do it all. Of course, yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea to fundraise. And what kind of interest have you had generally in the project? I think like all of these things, to start with, everyone goes, well, oh, I'm not sure that's going to work. And now it's beginning to gain momentum. And once we have the statue, which is literally going to be at the end of next month, um, hopefully being able to actually show people what this beautiful bronze maquette looks like, they're going to say, there's only eight left, I want one. And I'll maybe get one of the £10 tickets rather yes. than the £6,000. Yes. Uh, now, you are going to be in at Hartbury because there's a big event in Hartbury, dressage event in April. So yes, that's, that's right. where people can see one of the maquettes. There. We hope that they will give us permission. I can't think that they wouldn't because, good Lord, Vallegro and Carl and Charlotte have done so much to put dressage on the map that I would be very disappointed if they didn't let us go. But I'm hoping they will. Um, and then the plan is that we will be able to take it around to other places over time. And Vallegro himself, can, can you just shine a light on his retirement? How, how's he doing? He's the most fantastic horse. I mean, I have been very pleased to be able to do this because it's meant that I've had to go to Carl's yard and I've been able to say hello to Vallegro and watch him being ridden. And I think he's taking to his retirement quite well. He, you know, he's ridden every day. He goes into the school, goes into the outdoor school. He's got Utopia next door to him. So his life is pretty much the same. Other other than that he's not taken to a lot of dressage events. So, yeah, life has changed, has slowed down, but uh, good for you to be able to go and see him and find out how he's oh, getting on. Fantastic. And actually three years into his retirement now because it was the Rio Olympics in 2016 when he last competed. That's right, time flies. And he does go out. He gets taken to special events because he is a celebrity and he is staggering when he is completely and utterly surrounded by people. I mean, you see him and you go, oh, my God, if that horse moves quickly, he's going to squash people. And so he people just swarm around him. Oh, you can barely not see the horse because there'll be hands all over him. And he just stands there and laps it up. Um, what makes Vallegro special? I mean, obviously the collection of Olympic medals is one thing, but what do you think makes him special? I think it's partly his temperament, because he has a superb temperament, partly that he always gives. He, whatever, wherever he was taken and whatever he was asked to do, whether he'd been put on a plane and, you know, flown all the way to Rio, he always gave of his best, and he was never unstinting in it, and that makes him a very special horse. And I do remember watching London 2012. It was the oh. first time the whole country had really watched any dressage, mm. you know, for the general population. I remember rushing home from work and I had to time when I left work so I'd be on the sofa for, for when the dressage was on. You know, <laughs> people didn't do this before London 2012. No, no. And we were all just mesmerised by what we saw. I hadn't seen anything like, like it before. It was amazing. I mean, I was there. I got soaked. If you watch it, there was a huge black cloud and I was one of the people who got absolutely drenched. But it was worth every wetting. <laughs> was it, yeah. 
it is to see a gold medal like that. It and, is. And to see, you know, Team GB were, were dominant, weren't they? In the, in the it is, off. and I really hope it works. Um, I have to rush back in a minute and go and fly some birds because it's half term, so we're hopefully very busy and hopefully not too much rain. But once this is up, I can't wait to see people in Newark going up to see it and having their photographs taken with it, and hopefully they'll then come up to see us as well. Exactly, yes, the uh, Birds of Prey Centre. So you've got a busy half term. Ahead. Yes, when yeah. I left, there were hordes of kids all doing all sorts of things and a vulture flying. Right, good. You better go and check on all that then. <laughs> yes. Lovely to see you in the studio again. Thank you so much for updating us. And we think in about a year's time, that's when the statue will about be there. About a year's time. And when you see the photographs, we want to thank Rose Lewis for letting us have the photos and David, who does the videos of, if you watch, it's called he's called Harvey Wet Dog. They're amazing videos. You should watch them. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. We'll get another update. Okay, in the next I'll bring few him in. Yes, no, this is the Not maquette. the real thing. <laughs> yes, we could have Allegro in the studio. <laughs> it might be a bit tricky to get him through the door. But thank you very much. Lovely to see you again. Okay. Thank you, uh, Jemima Parry Jones on BBC Radio Gloucestershire. Well, who knows? It's an open invitation to Allegro, obviously, if he wants to come in. It's Elton John now with your song.